genuflect. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, She conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh. And dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey. That the law of the Lord may always be on your lips. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Gloria in Chelsea's day, oh, et in terra pax hominibus, bone voluntatis, laudamus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gratiagimus tibi, propter magnam gloriam tuam, domine Deus rex celestis, Deus Pater omnipotens, Domine Fili unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus agnus Dei, Filius Patris, 
Qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Qui tolis peccata mundi, sucepe de praxionem nostram, qui seres ad exteram patris, miserere nobis, coniam tu solus santus, Tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus, Iesu Christe, cum Sancto Spiritu, in gloriam Dei Patris. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase in your church by new offspring, grant that your servants made whole fast to their lives by the sacraments they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. On the day, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, you who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man con commended to you by God, by mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God. You killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throne, throes of death, death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says to him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right, at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad and my tongue has exulted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses. Exalted at the right hand of God, he poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my God, my Lord, you are, O Lord, my allotted portion in my cup. You it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart extols him. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. 
Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. So today, today's Mass is a continuation of yesterday's Mass. Easter is such a, it's the biggest event of the year, right? So we don't just celebrate it one Sunday, we celebrate it for eight straight days. We continue the Easter celebration for eight whole days because it's the event that changes everything, right? This is the event that changed the world. And yet, in our gospel story, what do we hear? We hear about how the the Sanhedrin, the chief priests, inserted a lie from the very beginning. They paid off the soldiers to A, keep them out of trouble, and B, you know, Grease the wheels, I guess you could say, to say that they fell asleep and that the disciples took his body. But what's interesting is at this point, the disciples didn't even know he was a, that he was resurrected, right? The disciples themselves didn't even haven't, haven't even found out yet. They're about to come running to the tomb to see the empty tomb. They're about to journey back to Galilee and await the Holy Spirit and await to see Christ. My brothers and sisters, we're in this moment of waiting 
right now. Christ has risen from the dead. Things are looking better, looking more positive in our world, in our culture right now. And yet we're still in this moment of waiting. That not only reflects what we have going on here in our liturgy, but also in our world. Because we're still waiting for Christ to come back, right? All of us here are still waiting for Him to return. Are still longing for Him to return. So my brothers and sisters, in your life today, what are the things that you're waiting for? Are you waiting to see Christ? Or are you waiting for the next thing? Are you waiting to go deeper into your relationship with God? Or are you waiting for the next Netflix show to come out? What are you waiting for? I guess the question is, is that thing going to fulfill you the way the resurrection does? Or is it going to lie to you the way the chief priests and the scribes did? Turning to our loving Father, let us now offer him our prayers and our petitions. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Pope Francis, Archbishop Charles, and for all the bishops, that they may continue to respond to the will of the Holy Spirit in leading our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, for all of our political leaders, for President Trump, for Congress, for the Supreme Court, that they may work together to enact laws in accord with justice and with life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here and for our families, that we may always strive to grow closer to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who will go without today, whether it be some emotional need or some physical need, that God may inspire us to provide them care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and for all of those who will die today, that they may see the face of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that we hold in the depths of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hands. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We live up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but, on this, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, 
For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of their sins, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord And profess your resurrection Until you come again Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion The resurrection from the dead And the glorious ascension into heaven Of Christ, your Son, our Lord We, your servants, and all your holy people Offer to your glorious ma majesty from the gifts you have given us, 
this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a sincere and kindly countenance and accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take you away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts. Through Christ our Lord, Precious Jesus, although I am not able to receive you sacramentally in the most holy Mass, I pray thee to send forth thy blessings into my heart. Fill me up to overflowing. This I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ is risen today. Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day. Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross. Alleluia. Suffer to redeem our loss. Alleluia. Hymns of praise, then let us sing. Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King. Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave. Ah, 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 ah.